What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm showing you guys a Kobe 8, Laker away. All right guys, now this is the box right here. I already showed you guys two other colorways. Same box, as you guys see black, we get the Mamba logo at the top right there. I did go with a size 10.5 on these as well. Now out of the home, in a way, I think these are like two of the best, you know, because they're actually like, you know, symbolizing, you know, a team color and things like that. So in the long run, these might be going for a little bit of money, but right now they're all going for just over retail. And this is the best time to probably purchase these because later on, these may be a little bit more expensive. Open up the top of the box here. Get some white tissue paper on the inside. And this is the shoe right here, guys. What do you guys think about it? Is it a cop or drop for you guys? Let me know in the comments box below. I mentioned this in the other video, you know, even though they're called home and away, these aren't normally the colors that we wear home or away, away we normally wear purple, but you know, sometimes we do wear an alternate, which I haven't really seen in a while. The Lakers wear like that black jersey, but uh, it is what it is. So nothing else on the inside of the box, taking out these shoes right here. What do you guys think about them, man? I still wasn't able to find the gray pair in the past two days. I've been hunting for it. I can't really find it. Um, at this point, I'm going to just say, you know, whatever it is, what it is. But this is the shoe, man. Which one do you guys like the best out of the five that drop on Foot Locker apps? Um, at five o'clock, you were able to get these. That's why you guys seen the B-roll of me just waiting in line trying to get these. And that's pretty much how it goes nowadays at Foot Locker. You know, if you can't get the shoe, 5 p.m., they normally do drop whatever size they have left over. Um, so just in case you guys didn't know that information, now you guys know. You guys know I'm a retail property, so um, all my shoes come from retail stores and everything like that. That's why I always do my reviews on release day. At the bottom of the shoe here, we get an all white on the bottom, a little bit of black in the middle, black towards the bottom as well with the Mama logo. Looking at the midsole here, it's white on both the outside and the inside of the shoe with the Mama logo, a little bit forward on both outsides of the shoe. On the bottom portion of the shoe here, we get this black rubber a little bit higher than that. We see this clear, hard plastic type of material. I'll get back to that a little bit later on. Moving up a little bit more, we get this nice black mesh all the way around the outside of the shoe right here. And we get this gold or yellow swoosh, as you guys can see knitted in. On both outsides of the shoe right here, we get the Kobe logo. That's not on the inside of the shoe, which I'm about to show you guys right now, looking at the inside of the shoe. Same thing, a little bit more breathability on the inside of the shoe, because we don't have that big swoosh over top. We get a smaller swoosh towards the back half, up by the inside of the ankle. A little bit of black leather on that as well. I wish they would have made this 3M now that I'm looking at it. That would have been pretty dope. We still see that R plastic a little bit lower than that. And this is pretty much what the shoe is made of. Um, the technology and everything is a little bit updated. I feel like Kobe has one of those shoes where every time he came out with a new shoe, it was something better about it. Let me know what you guys think about that topic in the comments box below. But looking at the toe box here, we can see that it is engraved and it says KB24 right there. If you look really, really well, it's hard to really see it in this black mesh. You guys look at the white pair or you know something similar to a white pair, you will be able to see it there. I don't know why that is, but you know, on this pair, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll try to get my best shots of it so you guys can see it. Um, majority of this portion of the toe box is soft, but back to what I was talking about earlier with this hard plastic type of material right there, that is to stop you know your foot from getting crushed in, in case like somebody lands on your foot and whatnot. So I do like that part about this shoe. A lot of basketball shoes, even today, don't have this around the front of the shoe so you know um i really do like that about this shoe looking at the bottom of the mug guard here it is in white creeping up from the bottom of the shoe unfortunately we only do get one set of laces on these they come with some black laces but looking at the tongue here we get this black leather tongue at the top here we get the kobe logo in purple all right on the inside of the tongue it is blank but we get this black satin on the sock lining of the shoe we do get some tissue inserts on these okay the production dates on this is 02 23 24 to 05 07 24 I'll give you guys a quick look at that real fast taking out the actual insole on the shoe here it is a black insole and this is what i was talking about earlier how the technology and everything is just a little bit better okay now we get this very thick insole this is definitely for impact of landing and you know things like that so looking at the insole here it is all black we get the mamba logo on the bottom of the insole, turn around the insole. This is a Nike React insole. See the sizing on there and everything. And this is a really, really thick sole. And probably one of the reasons why these shoes fit a little bit snug. So I'm getting into that after this, but this is definitely what you will get inside your shoe, just in case you guys have never had a pair. Underneath the actual insole here, it is white with some black stitching, a little bit of like blue in there. You guys can see that a little bit of blue like on the trimming 
um, coming towards the back of the shoes here. So the majority of a black, you see like this black plastic over top of the Mamba logo and purple. And that's pretty much gonna do it for this shoe, guys. All right. I'm gonna show you guys my fizz in the toe box right now. Okay guys, so this way like on feet, pretty clean in my opinion. Now, I'm a true size and I'm gonna get nine and a half in on my shoes. When it comes to Kobe's, I tend to go a full size up to a full size and a half up. That's really like the sweet spot for me. I would say go up at least a half size minimum up on these. These do run really, really snug. But you know, if you want a better wearing experience, you could possibly go up a full size to a full size and a half up and it still may feel a little bit snug. Now, with that being said, um, I have one with the insole and one without the insole. So uh, let me know which one you guys think has the insole and which one doesn't. Can you guys tell a difference um, or not? But um, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. So this one right here does not have an insole. You guys can see how easy my foot is able to move in the left one compared to the right one. Now I still don't have any slippage on here. If I was to get up and walk, it still doesn't feel like my foot is gonna slip out of there. So, and this is a full size and a half up, just in case you guys are wondering. And I'm gonna take the shoe off just in case you guys don't think I have an insole in there. But yeah, I don't have an insole in there as you guys just saw. All right, this one, you can see that I do have the insole in there, all right? Now, I'm sure show you guys my foot is in the toe box right here. So wiggling around, as you guys can see, is really easy for me to do. I wouldn't consider you guys doing this. Now, maybe if you go, you know, half a size up or full size up and still feels like it's tight, then maybe you can try this out, but you won't have, you know, the cushioning and everything in the shoe for the technology purposes. But my big toe is about right here, as you guys can see. So I have a little bit of space in the top of the toe box, nothing too crazy, but um, on the one that does have the insole, foot still right there, a little bit of space at the top of the toe box. I do feel the material just a little bit on the inside and the outside of the foot. That's really where the problem is, not width wise, I mean, not lengthwise, width wise is where the problem is. All right, so length wise, there's no problem. Width wise is the problem. But uh, other than that though, they feel really nice on feet with and without the insole, I might say. But uh, with the insole, you can definitely feel the cushioning and you know the support that you should have in your shoe. But other than that though, they feel really nice on feet. Unlace, um, they feel really nice on feet. Tied up, it does give a little bit more pressure in like this area on the inside and the outside, but I'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Okay guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.